Now let's create the Pursue app. To do this, you log into your Podio account, go into your workspace, and then add app. Create your own custom app. Call it Pursue. And I'll just call this Item. Change the icon to something a little more interesting. I will put that for now. Change it to table standard layout and give it a description. This is for leads that I want to pursue further. Now let's create the app. Now we have to add the app fields. The first field I like to create is the relationship field, which I link to our leads app. So now you'll know, be able to go back to the, exi the original property lead record in the, the leads app to see which one this uh, pursue lead refers to. Save that, give it a name, better name. I like to keep the relationship in there, call it property relationship, or in this case, lead relationship. And the next field we want to add is a category field for status. This, cat this status category field is the driver to move the lead through, continue moving the lead through the funnel into the next stage or are you killing it. So these are the categories, the statuses that I like to have. Working, any lead that I'm currently working on. Want to make an offer. This is on hold for any lead that I still need to do information on, but I need I get sidetracked for something else. And finally, a dead lead. This lead I'm no longer interested in and I'm killing it right here. Some more information that I like to add now in the pursue record is the asking price that the seller is asking. Create another number field. The ARV of the house after I get pull the comps and figure out what the max value I can get for this. Another number field for the repair costs. And finally I want to uh, next I want to add the wholesale fee which is the fee I'm going to charge any buyer that I have for the property. Usually the rehabber who's going to actually fix up the property, but this is my wholesale fee. And you'll see how this all plays into the formula field that I'll be creating. So next is the percent of ARV. <clears throat> this is the standard base percent, usually it's 70, sometimes it's 65 percent, that you immediately take off the top of the ARV before subtracting your repair costs and your fee to get your max offer. So the last, at least in this part, we want to create a calculation field. This will automatically calculate the max offer based off these previous five fields that I created. To do this, it's fairly easy. But first you have to click Done and Save before this calculation field can recognize these other fields. So let's hit Done. Go back into the modified template, scroll down, and we want to start creating the calculation. So we'll say hit the at so you can access the other fields, and we want to say at ARV times the percent of the ARV close that off because you want to do that operation first minus repair costs
minus your wholesale fee. And this will be the calculation and it'll automatically give you the max ARV, the max offer. So we'll say max offer. Now we can also add some other information to this or just keep it like this. This is the simple straight up version of my my pursue field. If you hit done and we add an item you can see the field options. It also automatically adds file field which is where I like to put comps. I'll print the comp off from the MLS and just attach it to this this pursue pursue lead uh, record and you can cr pretty much add any type of field or information that you want to keep track of dependent on your business so that is my my pursue field my pursue app next I'll create the offer app which will handle most of the doings for uh, creating the offer letter and then auto sending that offer letter to your buyer to a real estate agent and to whomever thank you if you have any questions email me at scott at strugglinginvestor.com thank you